Again, the market down. It's been happening over the last three or four sessions. Experts say it's profit-taking. Can we still blame it on profit-taking? Uh, uh, maybe, maybe not profit-taking really, but uh, I'll say it's sort of a slowdown uh, in anticipation of what's going to happen uh, you know, in this particular first quarter. Of course, uh, compared to uh, what companies are going to announce, uh, because most of the companies are now finalizing on their, on their fourth quarter results to report mm -hmm. their 12th full month, especially the banks. And uh, when we opened the year, of course, we, we, we saw there was a little bit of a rush uh, among its investors, especially right. the locals coming to take advantage of uh, the, the dip in prices just before the close of 2010. So I'll just say is that, uh, you know, uh, a wait and see scenario, right. especially among us, the local, as opposed to profit taking. What are the expectations, though, in terms of uh, the results in general? We know that the Kenyan economy performed above expectations last year. We did see third quarter results demonstrating that the banks were particularly very good performers in the Kenyan economy. And so were some of the agricultural companies like Safara, like uh, Sassini, for instance, that had done very well on the back of good harvests. Um, definitely not expected, yeah. There's, uh, there's been a lot of, uh, you know, s recovery in the economic activities uh, of the country. And uh, that's why you can even hear that uh, there's too much sort of liquidity, cash building up in the Kenyan commercial banks just because of this particular increased activity in the economy. A lot of construction is going on. And uh, uh, with all this put into perspective, definitely, the outlook is very positive. Uh, especially across, uh, across many, 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 many counters. And um, just talking there of Sassini and uh, agriculturals, of course, uh, they, they, they've, been, they've been doing well, but uh, th there could be a, a slight slowdown, especially right. given that uh, there's a fear of uh, a drought right. and, of course, uh, affecting uh, the cost of energy, right. which could maybe just play a little bit to, you know, to, to, to reduce their bottom line. Uh, we've seen Ravi Pingo coming out, one of the agriculturals coming out and saying um, they, they, they fear that maybe their profit will still mm -hmm. continue to be down given that uh, mm -hmm. costs of labor have gone up and of course uh, with the right. drought uh, coming up, uh, there's going to be an increase in, uh, in, the, in the cost of energy. Let's talk about counters to watch. Obviously, Safaricom is uh, one of the largest constituents of the bourse, highly capitalized, and tends to influence the trends. And today we're seeing that share price under severe pressure, and that's on the back of a second phase of uh, tariffs being slashed by the second largest operator, Airtel Kenya. The price wars is something that we've been following uh, quite um, in depth, and now it seems as though investors are starting to respond with a bit of jitters regarding Safaricom? Is it just something we're seeing for the moment or is this de a defining moment for Safaricom? Um, we're actually approaching that defining moment because uh, this tariff was started uh, you know, around August last year and uh, the impact could soon be seen when they announced their half year, you know, when they announced their, their, their full year, you know, their, uh, their, uh, sometime in May. Uh, for this having, of course, started playing out in uh, August last year, the impact is going to be on the last half of their financial year. And uh, with recent cut down to as low as one Kenyan shillings uh, in calling and uh, SMS uh, rates, definitely it has played a very big role in uh, bringing down the share price because it had re the, the upward pressure was building right. and uh, it had surpassed its recent highs of 4.5 right. to even 4 shillings and uh, 80 cents. But now... With that in mind, oh, definitely, yeah, the price has gone down to four shillings and twenty-five cents, and uh, reversing might be difficult if we continue to see right. these, uh, you know, tariff cutdowns. And Fred, yeah. we're running out of time. A very quick comment on the fact that Uchumi, which is one of the largest supermarket chains, could be relisting on the Nairobi uh, stock exchange. Have they met the various requirements of the regulator? That's the first question. And the second question: Would investors flood into the stock? Um, uh, yeah, yeah that, there has been an interesting development on Uchumi. It's really come up well, you know, back in the profit zone. And uh, uh, what has been happening is from, uh, you know, towards the end of last year, uh, the management has been pushing for it being relisted. And uh, we see that happening in this first quarter of this year. So uh, that is a definite uh, yes that, yeah, we are all looking towards, uh, you know, seeing the, the, the counter being admitted. And, uh, 
of course there were so many investors that uh, were holding because when it went off the market actually it was a very it was one of the liquid stocks and uh, many shareholders are uh, you know are held in there so definitely there's going to be a beehive of activities once we, we you know right. once the the company